Is not having promotional copy at the ready stopping you from promoting your evergreen freebies and paid offers? That was me. I had bits and pieces here and there, but no complete promotional packages of images and copy that I could pull from at the ready to get my content in front of new people. So in this video, I'm walking you through one of my projects from earlier this year where I undertook putting together evergreen promotional packets for all of my evergreen offers and mega freebies that is getting me pretty incredible results with very minimal ongoing effort. Hey there, Empire Builders. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Haley Dale, and I am a content strategist helping you create more purposeful, productive, and yes, profitable content too. So if that sounds like something you're looking for, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below this video or that little bell icon to be notified whenever a new video goes live for value packed videos, just like this one every single Monday. So earlier this year, I came across a ever great DIY course design kit templates from my brand designer, Nicole Yang. She launched them earlier this year and I was obsessed with them. I will add the link to them below in case you want to check them out, but I love the concept of creating this suite of images for your digital products and courses. And so that really got me thinking and got me undertaking my own project um, of putting together the copy that goes along with them as well. My weekly content bundle, so the regular content that I'm putting out every single week, it just happens to be weekly, yours might be bi-weekly or even monthly, but mine is weekly. And every single week I have one blog post and video that goes live and I have a promotion that I choose. And the promo might be something, it might be a summit, it might be a podcast interview, but if there isn't anything like going on like that, that I need to promote, then I like to pull like a freebie to promote or one of my digital evergreen offers. And so I constantly found myself with these holes in my weekly content bundle in my editorial calendar and basically having to like all this copy on the spot to put in my editorial calendar. So I wanted to create a system that anytime I didn't have something timely going on, that I had all of that stuff ready. I could just pull it and put it in the calendar, have a few different versions of it that paired with Nicole's image templates so that there was nothing stopping me from really getting my evergreen offers out there on a regular and consistent basis. I cannot tell you how, many, how much this has helped me in my business and how much more traction I'm getting for those offers because I'm actually telling people about it. I mean, you wouldn't even know. But with you, that sounds like something you're interested in. I want to walk you through the steps that I took when I started undertaking this project. So the first thing is kind of like a getting prepped step. And this is where I really created a list of all of my evergreen offers. So I made a list of all of my evergreen paid offers. So things that could be sold at any time. So I have my, you know, contact campaign generator, your content, your empire is technically evergreen, although I do shut it down at the end of the year as we kind of revamp things and run our annual live round. And then I also make a list of any of my big flagship freebies. So not like the tiny content upgrade, but like if I have a quiz or in my case, I have the monthly content planning kit. So I made a list of basically all of the things that I could choose from to promote. So these are things that are a bit bigger in my business or evergreen paid offers. And I made a list. I think I had about 10 of them on there. So big freebies and paid offers. And then what I did for each of them is I went and created an offer docket. So an offer docket is my favorite system for coming up with promotional copy. Um, and it is really just a way of like putting all of your details in one place regarding that offer. And I think that it, if it was worth putting together in the first place, then it's worth spending the time to put together an offer docket for the offer, whether it's free or paid. So I'm going to put a link to the comments. I have a blog post and I have a template all about my offer docket process. So if this is something that you're undertaking, definitely recommend this as a getting prep step. So make that list, then go and create your offer docket for every single one of those offers. And I'll put the link to the template below this video. So let's go over how it works. Essentially, there are three ingredients to putting together these promotional messages. There is ingredient number one, and that is your angle. This is the opening. This is how you're catching people's attention and grabbing it and making them read the entire thing. Then ingredient number two is your main point, aka the body, the beef of your social media post. And then ingredient number three 
is their next step. So this is the call to action in your post where you are really explicitly telling them what you want them to do next. So we have each of those three ingredients and I think that you can kind of mix and match. So in this video, I'm walking you through nine options for ingredient one, nine options for ingredient two, and nine options for ingredient three. And then you can mix and match them. And I think that comes up with 84 options total. I had uh, a PhD and a math major do this math for me because I wasn't sure how many combos that would end up with. But apparently it is 84. So you have 84 options for your promotional copy to mix and match these different angles. And that makes it really easy to come up with a lot of variations when you're feeling a little bit stuck on what to say. So I'm going to go through these options a little bit quickly. But just so you know, there is my uh, copywriting promo copy cheat sheet down below this video. So if you want to grab that and have all of these in front of you to take and mix and match, I would definitely recommend grabbing that below this video. It's a bit of a cheat sheet there. So let's go over ingredient number one. So this is your angle. This is your opening, your hook for your social media message. And I, like I said, I have nine different options. So number one is, are you over? So that's a great way to open a post. Like, are you over uh, saying you're going to lose weight and then never doing it? Are you over saying you're going to finish your funnel and then never doing it? Are you over never knowing what to cook for dinner? So think about what those mean for your particular offer and reverse engineer those are you overs for yourself. Number two is, are you ready for? So let's flip it around and make it about the benefit here. So are you ready for a funnel that gets you regular clients coming to you? Are you ready for a planning system that finally works? Are you ready for uh, a new book every single month that is guaranteed to please? So think about what that means for your particular offer, but make it about the benefit. Then number three is a common misconception. So we can come up with things that people think about our offers or think about the topic related to these evergreen offers and then tell them why that isn't true. So you might have heard that you should put your pants on one leg at a time, but this is how you should really do it. I don't know. I'm just making these up. But are what are those common misconceptions that people believe about your area of expertise? Do they relate to your offer? And then can you use those as a hook for your social media message? Number four is consequences of staying stuck. So are you going to be in the exact same place this time next year? Next year, are you still not going to have that funnel done? Next year, are you still going to be talking about going on that dream vacation? Next year, are you still going to be talking about saving for retirement and not doing it? So think about what their consequences are and put them in that place of like, what happens if you take no action? Do they really want to be there uh, next year or in six months? Wouldn't you rather just start right now? So number five is a startling stat or fact. So think about something that might shock people, whether that is a, you know, stat, a statistic related to your offer, like 87 people think that startling facts are stupid, like whatever that is for you. So think about in your area of expertise, this might require you to be do a little bit of research. I find the place that I go to for a lot of my stats is Harvard Business Review. They have a lot of great research, especially in the business area. So if you're B2B, that's a great place to check. Otherwise, just get a little nerdy with it and go and find those stats. They can be great openers for your social media posts. Number seven is an opening quote. So this is where you can maybe use the wise words of others and put an inspirational quote in there. You can also use a testimonial would be a great place here and then explain what it means and why it relates to your paid offer or your freebie offer, whatever your evergreen offer is. Number seven, option number seven for your angle, your opening would be painting the picture. So picture this, imagine if, get them imagining that place of having solved that problem with your offer. So whatever your evergreen offer solves or what delight it gives, paint the picture of them seeing themselves there. So a great opening is imagine if or picture this or something like that. Number eight is calling attention. So we want to call those people out by name. So it could be like, hey, there, overwhelmed moms or hey, there, busy business owners. So call them out, put an adjective in front of it. But who is your audience for this offer and what can you do to call them out by name? Number nine is call it like it is. And this means just being upfront, like save 50% until Friday, save 50% with this coupon. So call it out, put it in all caps if necessary. That's another great opener. And like, yeah, why beat around the bush? 
So those are your nine angles, but what are our main points? So what are we matching them with? So I have nine options for the main point as well. And this is AKA the body. And what's great about this is you are going to be pulling from the offer docket. So it wasn't for nothing. I didn't have you do that prep step for nothing, but you're going to be able to pull from that and use it as a jumping off point for the body of your social media message. So number one is this is what it is. So this is where you get into the details of what the offer is. So it is is it a planner? Is it a, you know, 116 page planner? Is it an eight week course? So you can go into the details of what it is after that hook. Number two is this is who it's for. So you can go into the exact audience and who is going to get the best results from this. And that can be one angle for your body text and you can pull it straight from the offer docket. Next up is this is what it does. This is where you're going to focus on the transformations, the benefits that this offer delivers. So even if it's free, you're still delivering benefits. There has to be a reason that people care about it. And this can be the um, main point of your social media body. Number four is this is what it solves. So this is where you're going to get problematic. And this is where you're going to come up with those problems that your offer solves. So what are the three problems? You'll find that section directly in the offer docket. And you can use that as the body of your social media message. Just rewrite it a little. This is why you should take action now. So why should they take action now and not a month from now or not next week or not a year from now? So get into what are the consequences of staying stuck? So if you've opened with that, you might want to switch it up here, but you could definitely have them be the same here. So number six is this is who has used it. This is where you're going to pull out a little bit of social proof and talk about who has gotten results from it and what those results have been. This is why I made it. So this is where you can get into your story, your motivation for creating it. And then number eight is this is what is in it. So this is where you can get really specific about what the features and the benefits of those features. So this is where you can talk about, you know, the video modules, or this is where you can talk about the templates, the take and tweak templates, and why those things matter. And then our final one here is this is a frequently asked question. So if you get a question about this offer a lot, you can use this opportunity to answer that frequently asked questions right then and there in your promotional message. All right, so it's time to get people taking action. And that's where ingredient number three comes in. The next step, AKA your call to action, your CTA. So there are nine options just like before, because we are mixing and matching and just kind of like playing the matching game here. So number one is get benefit what it is here. Number two is click here to download or sign up or book a call. Number three is unlock benefit. Now, the fourth one is yes, I want the benefit. Number five is are you ready to solve? Biggest problem, question mark, click here. And then number six is right this way for benefits. Number seven is say yes to benefit here. Number eight is join numbers of specific audience here. So I say for my planner, like join tens of thousands of other entrepreneurs who download this planner. And then our final one here is just simple. Take the first step here. So telling people what that first step is. So if you are putting these together, like I mentioned before, make sure to download the evergreen promo copy swipe file and let me know in the comments which recipe you're most excited to try. If you want more videos like this, make sure to click on the video next on your screen and make sure to subscribe for new videos just like this one every single Monday. Thank you.